Good evening, everyone. The Buffalo Public Schools are racing against the clock to fill vacancies before the new school year begins. News Force Tara Lynch is back from the school board meeting where they spelled out their plan to cover those jobs. Tara? Don and Jackie, transportation and staffing, that's what the district is working on ahead of the school year. They say they've got 250 teacher openings and they're working to get new hires certified by the first day of school. That's just 20 days away. We're actually going in every week and looking at qualified candidates that may that have put in an application with our district and we're also getting them interviewed. Along with a teacher shortage, there's a bus driver shortage. A source close to the school district says up to 3,000 students could be without transportation this school year. The district is looking at four solutions, including reimbursing parents to transport their children, creating staggered school start times, combining some routes, and giving families NFTA bus passes. What we do know is that not one of these strategies is the solution, but we're hopeful that all of them together will have an impact, a positive impact on our transportation challenges. Some residents are concerned about the lack of bus aids and say there's more than 100 openings for that position. I have a little concern that it doesn't seem to be urgency today for the bus aids because everybody's busy doing something else. We have openings in various areas and we don't want any gaps in any of the areas. Also, the alternative education program does not have a school to host its students. The program handles students in need of extra supervision. We haven't talked about suspended children, how they're going to learn while they're suspended. We haven't talked about expanding the program very well. It's, it's a fight against change. It has been my intention that we do have to take a look at our alternative education programs so that we are providing the best service to our most needy students. The school year set to begin September 6th, and the superintendent says there could be some transportation delays on that first day. She says there will be enough staff at the schools to make sure students have snacks and are in programs while those delays are sorted out. For Down Studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.